Today I want to show you how to really take inspired action as a powerful manifester. And it is so important to talk about the topic of inspired action because so many people who start on this beautiful spiritual journey have this weird mindset about taking action. And I believe it comes from the idea that now that they use the law of attraction, they have to do everything completely different than they did before. And while this is true to some extent, that you have to let go of the negative emotions, of the negative self-image, of the negative self-talk, and of the way that you were living your life before, that doesn't mean that you have to completely let go of taking action. You just have to do it in a different way. If I don't take action while recording an episode, the episode won't be recorded and won't be published. If I don't take action in recording a program that I can then sell as a digital product, then nothing will happen. So I still have to take action in the several businesses that I have in order to achieve results. However, the way I'm taking action nowadays is completely different than the way I used to take action in the past before my spiritual awakening. But more on that in just a moment. For now, I want you to think about taking action as a part of manifesting. That manifesting, as Dr. Joe Dispenza said on the last Joe Dispenza week-long advanced retreat I went to, that you have to keep one foot in the spiritual realm and one foot in the physical realm. It's all about balance. Because some people and this might sound completely over the top and exaggerated if I share it with you now, but I know it from my own experience. I've worked with so many people from all over the world, and I know that some people have this belief system that now that they are manifesting, now that they are using spirituality in order to achieve their goals, they don't have to do anything anymore. So for example, somebody wants to manifest abundance and they then manifest all day long, meditate all day long, and they don't leave the house and somehow imagine that the money will just be deposited in their bank account. However, that's not how it usually works. I mean, don't get me wrong. There are people who have received unexpected money from certain tax reimbursements or from businesses that they have completely forgotten about or an inheritance that just came out of nowhere. These things can happen. But how it often happens, especially when it comes to manifesting abundance, is that you send the signal out into the field with your clear intention, with your visual image, and you then feel the emotions of what it would feel like if you already had what you want. And by doing that, you then draw the experience to you. But you don't just draw it to you in a sense where somebody knocks on the door and throws a bunch of cash in your face and then they leave again. If that happens, you would probably think to yourself, oh my God, is this some mafia thing? Will they kill me? What is going on? This would probably weird you out if you're really honest. I mean, just imagine you're in a meditation and then suddenly the door goes tong, 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 and you then open the door. Somebody looks at you and says, here's the cash. Keep it with you. And then they run away. You would be like, oh my God, what's going on now? Ah. So that wouldn't be a good way of manifesting it in the first place. But when it comes to manifesting, you are now an ally of the universe. You're the best friend of the universe. And as your best friend or ally, the universe gives you all the information that you need in order for you to achieve success. This could be an impulse to apply for a certain job. It could be an idea for a new business. It could be a direct download where you get the blueprint of a certain product that you want to offer or a certain service. And then you have to take inspired action. And inspired action is action that you cannot not do. To give you an example, when I embarked on this journey of manifesting, the universe woke me up several times during the night with ideas for exactly this podcast, for the Affirmation to Manifestation podcast. And in the beginning, I didn't even want to start it. I refused to start it. I thought I'm not ready for it and I don't have time for that. Ooh, then I can't focus on the other business that I have and da 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 all these different excuses until the ideas, the overwhelming signals and signs and downloads from the universe got so overwhelming that I said, okay, universe, I'm going to do it. Yep, I'm going to do it. I'm going to start that thing. And that's the reason why you're now listening to this episode. 
And the same happened to me for so many of my other businesses, where there were synchronicities, ideas, downloads coming to me out of nowhere. And all I then had to do was to put it into practice. And this is something where I can confidently say that's what distinguishes inspired action from matter to matter action from trying to force the outcome to give you a specific example let's say you want to start a business you're not really sure what exactly it will be maybe you have a rough idea of what kind of product you want to offer but you're not 100 percent sure yet and you then from this perspective want to start the business you want to create a product and you sit down and you think about a product what could you do ah, what kind of product could it be you make all kinds of lists and you write all kinds of things down maybe you create a plan of how to create the product and it takes hours upon hours upon hours of thinking and analyzing and a headache and another headache and then thinking again and another headache whereas person b might be in a deep meditation, reaching the frequency of abundance, feeling abundance, seeing the money already in their bank account, and then out of nowhere, just like a direct download, directly through the crown chakra, through the connection to the cosmos, boom, there it is, the idea, finished already, the blueprint, it's there, you know exactly what product you want to create, and now all you gotta do is to create it. You know exactly how it should look like, why it should look like that, how you want to sell it, what you want to do. All these things are there. I mean, for several of my businesses in the realm of hypnosis, I have different businesses where I help people to overcome several addictions with hypnosis, for example, porn addiction and the addiction to cigarettes and the hypnosis coaching programs that are designed for these specific businesses came to me as a direct download out of nowhere. I didn't really think about it. It was just there in a meditation. The same is true for the Abundance Reality Shift coaching program. I mean, yes, I fine-tuned it afterwards. I, for example, after a while, added coaching session number three, in which we create your millionaire character, in which we really go into character development of who you want to be so that you can live the I am and become the abundance that you want to attract into your life. But the other coaching sessions, they came to me during a Joe Dispenza week-long advanced retreat where my friends had to drag me to the lunchroom and I was just recording everything in my phone. It was just there out of nowhere. I didn't have to think about it anymore. And when I then wrote the presentation page with all the bullet points, all the explanations, it was just there. Whereas other people spend weeks or months on such a page. For me, it was a, yeah, basically, if I remember correctly, two hours. It was two hours. And this is inspired action. This is what you will experience once you become more and more advanced on this beautiful journey of manifesting, that you will be in a beautiful position in a realm where these things can happen for you. They can come to you. They can flow to you in ways where you can not even, yeah, you can't logically explain it in any shape or form. I mean, when I think about these experiences, how would I explain somebody who has no relation to the law of attraction that I just got these downloads out of nowhere and I wrote it down and that's it? They would look at me and say, huh, okay. And this is exactly what will happen to you. I mean, I know that it will happen to you because it has happened to so many of my amazing coaching clients, especially the amazing men and women from all over the world who decided to work with me in the Abundance Reality Shift coaching program, which you can, by the way, find out more about by going to affirmationtomanifestation.com slash abundance. And yes, this coaching program was a direct download, one of many that I received over the last couple of years. And this is also a difference between inspired action and trying to force the outcome. I don't have to work hard in all the businesses I have, and I have many different areas where I'm active. And this is something that often shocks my clients when I tell them that with affirmation to manifestation, this is not the majority of my income, not at all. This is my passion project. This is the work that I cannot not do. This is the things that I want to share with the world. And also in the other businesses that I have, no matter if it's more product-based businesses or if it's hypnosis-based businesses, I don't work hard anymore. I work in alignment with the universe, which means I'm playing. 
And when I think back to the time before my spiritual awakening, and now we come full circle with what I shared with you in the beginning, I was struggling hard. I was working hard. I was working too hard. I was working 10 to 12 hours a day, every day. I was, I mean, I still remember back then with the woman who I was dating back then, I told her often to not come over after 5 p.m., because I was so exhausted that I was just lying on the couch and I couldn't get up anymore. I was not able to get off the couch physically as a man who was 29 years old back then. I mean, just imagine that. I was 29 and I couldn't get off the couch after 5 p.m. That's how much I destroyed myself, destroyed my body, and I thought I'm working towards success. I was barely making thousand bucks a month. Nowadays, I'm making more than 20,000 while working four hours a day. And it's not even work, it's play. And I'm meditating, I'm taking walks, I'm swimming, I'm loving my life. And this is inspired action. Inspired action has nothing to do with suffering and sacrificing and oh, harder and more. It is about inspiration. That's why it's called inspired action. Once you're inspired to do these things, once the universe gives you all these signs, all these downloads, you cannot not do it anymore. I mean, you will go crazy if you don't do it, but you will do it in a relaxed way, in a way where it feels right. And this is what I want you to experience. That's how you really take inspired action as a powerful manifester. And again, I want to invite you that if you want to find out more about my eight-week one-on-one coaching program, the Abundance Reality Shift Coaching Program, you can go to affirmation to manifestation.com slash abundance.